Interpreting the last simplex table. From the last simplex table, the following information can be obtained. Suppose that the following model is a linear programming model for the production of two dresses at a factory, namely dress 1 and dress 2. And suppose that the model has been solved by using simplex method and the following table is the last simplex table. To obtain the optimal solution, first list out all the variables in the model. And then look at the variables in the basic column and read their corresponding value in the quantity column. The variables that are not in the basic column have values equal to 0. Next, calculate the total profit by substituting the value of x1 and x2 into the objective function. The optimal solution indicates that the factory needs to produce 0 dress 1 and 10 dress 2 to get a maximum profit of 600 ringgit. Now note that real variables in a linear programming model represent the products to be produced, while select variables represent the resources used to make the products. Also, note that the values of the select variables in the optimal solution represent the amount of resources left at the end of a production. S1 represents resource 1, which is cutting time. S1 equals to 0 indicates that there is no amount left for resource 1. This means that resource 1 is fully utilized. S2 represents resource 2, which is sewing time. S2 equals to 20 indicates that there are 20 hours still available for resource 2. This means that resource 2 is not fully utilized. S3 represents resource 3, which is labeling time. S3 equals to 30 indicates that there are 30 hours still available for resource 3. This means that resource tree is not fully utilized. Let's look at shadow price. Shadow price is the maximum amount that we could pay if we want to add one unit of resource. Shadow price are given by C minus Z values of the select variables. C minus Z value of S1 is 20. Thus, shadow price for resource 1 is 20 ringgit. This indicates that if we want to add one unit of resource 1, that is one hour of cutting time, the maximum amount that we could pay is 20 ringgit. C minus Z value of S2 is 0. Thus, shadow price for resource 2 is 0 ringgit. This indicates that if we want to add 1 unit of resource 2, that is 1 hour of sewing time, the maximum amount that we could pay is 0 ringgit. C minus Z value of S3 is 0. Thus, shadow price for resource 3 is 0 ringgit. This indicates that if we want to add one unit of resource tree that is one hour of labeling time, the maximum amount that we could pay is zero ringgit. Now note that the right hand side values in the model represent the original amount of resources. These values can be changed, that is, they can be increased or decreased. If these values are changed, the optimal solution will also change. 
to obtain the new optimal solution, the model needs to be solved all over again. However, the new profit can be obtained without solving the model. The new profit can be obtained by using this formula. For example, by using the formula, if 12 units of resource 1 are added to the model, the new profit becomes 840 ringgit. And if 8 units of resource 3 are reduced from the model, the profit remains the same. Now, to check whether or not a problem has more than one optimal solution, first identify real variable that is not in the basic column. Second, look at the C minus Z value of the variable. If the C minus Z value of the variable is zero, then the problem has more than one optimal solution. If the C minus Z value of the variable is not zero, then the problem has only one optimal solution. From this last simplex table, the real variable that is not in the basic column is X1. And the C minus Z value of X1 is zero. Therefore, the problem has more than one optimal solution.